So we've got our John Deere 4020 here, and it's kind of got multiple problems right now. One is it's uh, not charging. So we bought a kit to go from 24 volts down to 12 volts. So we're going to put that on. It's got a hydraulic leak up on the front end here, and it's got a injector line that's got a leak on it as well. So those are kind of the, the projects here. While we've got some rainy days here, we're going to try to give her some work and Hopefully get her up to snuff, get her going for another season. So we got the hood off. One little trick for the hood, there's latches up underneath the covers here on each side to release the front part of the hood. And then there's two bolts on the back side here underneath. You have to take the cowling off first, but then you can get at it. So here's the kit. It came with a gear reduction starter, a new alternator, a solenoid, a bracket for mountain alternator, and then a pigtail for the harness and some instructions. We got the old alternator out of there, Just sitting over there pretty quick. Three bolts and then three wires that went to it. And looks like we have a new bracket. Let's see if we can figure out a way to mount that up there. Okay, so this is the way the bracket goes on. There's a groove right here and the bolt comes out this way into the radiator. I had it the opposite way before, and you couldn't get the pulley lined up, and the fan, or the cooling fan on the alternator hits on the bracket if you have it upside down. So this is the way it goes. So we got all the wires unhooked, and we got two extensions, and I'll show you the special type of extension I have on there to get to that back bolt. So there's two here. Once you get all the wires out of the way, there's a third one in the very back. You can see how I've got my ratchet fished back there. I'll show you how I got it loose. It's by far the hardest one of this whole group. Okay, so we got the old starter out. You can see what we got going on here. So this was the third bolt that was really hard to get at. Right there. So this is what I got. Standard extension, two short extensions. And the key to this whole thing is this wobble on the end of the extension. That way you can get in there and get your socket on in a short socket, thin wall, short socket, 16 point. So here's our new starter. Hopefully the bolt holes line up. I haven't tried that yet, but there's probably gonna be the hard one to get at. We'll just set it up in there and start to bolt her down. We got the new one sitting up in there. This one's significantly easier. There's plenty of room back there to get that third bolt on. Bolts right up, no problem. So we got this pigtail here that came with it and that just plugs in to the alternator and then we'll go ahead and wire it up. We got our regulator off. The first wire here is the battery wire and that one will go to the battery on the back of this terminal. Okay, so we started doing some wiring on this side. We mounted the relay. We took a six gauge wire from the main post of the starter and ran it to the top post of the relay. And then I made another wire, uh, probably eight gauge or 10 gauge wire from this post. And it's gonna go to the bottom post of the relay right there. That's got the nut most of the way out. Okay, so we got her all wired up and she's ready to go. Just wanted to show you how we ran the wires. So there's the new relay we put on. The top one goes to the ground. The bottom one is keyed and it hooks up to the yellow wire that comes from the harness. And that goes to the relay. And there's two other wires going to the relay. The top one goes to the main pin on the starter. And then the lower one goes to the solenoid that activates the solenoid. And then on the starter itself, there are two brown wires and two blue wires, and these come from the alt or go come from and come from the alternator to charge. And then they also power the harness. So that's the starter. Uh, on the so the, these top two, uh, one of them is positive from one battery, and one of them is positive from the other battery. And then these two here are the grounds, one negative ground from one battery and the other negative ground from the other battery. 
and we just kept the original batteries that way that were 24 two 12 volt batteries to create 24 volts we just uh, wired them differently so we get 12 volts to the battery instead of 24. on the alternator we wired this was the blue wire from the harness on the other side and the brown wire both these were going uh, to the original uh, alternate or generator that was on here before after we took it off um, so these are the these are the power wires from the bat from the alternator it's the battery terminal and then this red wire here uh, energizes the alt or the the alternator to charge um, and then this white wire here came from the harness and then these other wires won't be used so we'll we'll cut them off and cap them so anyway, that's how it's wired and the tractor does run and drive and charge the way that's wired. The only thing we don't have, uh, we don't have the lights hooked up yet, but we will have to uh, do, you have to bridge two wires in uh, behind here to uh, get power for the lights. So there's 12 volts there. We'll show that in a separate video. We've got new lights, new LED lights that we're going to put on it. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.